our 2017 white wine blend, a uh, mix of six different grapes uh, from uh, three different vineyards here in the valley. It is our kind of nod of sorts to a style of wine from uh, Austria, specifically Vienna, called Gemistersatz, which is an unusual field blend uh, as it exists in Vienna. So this is predominantly from uh, one vineyard here where they have a bunch of what I would call kooky varieties, very, very uncommon white wine varieties. For example, <laughs> for example, uh, in the Willamette Valley, to my knowledge, there are uh, uh, four, 14, I don't know why I said four, but there's 14 plants of Kerner, which is a German grape, and uh, that makes up 3% of that wine. All 14 plants of Kerner are in there. And so there is a collection of unusual things. It's, uh, also a collection of not so unusual things. 50% Riesling, which is fermented in an egg-shaped vessel. I can try to, if you squeeze in here, I'll get you some in your glass there. No, no, no. Come on in. So Riesling fermented in an egg-shaped vessel. And then the next is 20% Savanine Rose, which is a uh, relative to uh, Gewürztraminer. Which is also in there. Which is, uh, is in there at 15%. And it is 6% Fiulano, 6% Malone de Bourgogne, and 3% Kerner, that, those 14 plants. And so the, the Riesling, as I mentioned, fermented in an egg. The other 50% was fermented on its skins for about four days. And we pressed off and that went to a mix of acacia wood barrels and French oak barrels. Totally unfiltered. Native yeast fermented, we used that yeast that exists naturally on the skins of the grapes to carry out the fermentation. We wanted to make something that was dry but rich and textural, uh, but aromatic, something kind of fun, food friendly, very summery. Thank you very much. So this next one they have in their glass, I'll get it for you here in a second. This is our 2017 Rosé of Pinot Noir. A little bit uh, about us, we've been making wine since 2011, but before that I grew up on a vineyard uh, just a bit south of here in the Eola Hills. So uh, my dad and I manage the vineyard together now to this state. This is actually a chunk of the vineyard here. The old ocean floor littered with fossils. That is the fossil portion of our name, Fossil and Fawn. And so this wine uh, and this one at the end are both made from Pinot Noir. The rosé is 100% Pinot. It specifically comes from one small portion of the vineyard that my friend Greg helped us plant back in 2003. Uh, Greg loves cats. Uh, he unfortunately passed away a few years ago. So it's a bit of a tip of the hat to Greg, being this the first wine that came from just that one portion of the vineyard. We put some kitties on the label uh, as a little kind of thank you for Greg for helping us out with it. Uh, and like the white wine, native yeast fermented, fermented in barrel. This is a very kind of different style of rosé than uh, others you might try. That uh, This is a little bit richer, a little bit fuller. Uh, there's this little kind of very, very slight little bit of effervescence to it. It is very rocky and chalky and minerally, and I think that I attribute to growing into this very, very harsh material. So how hard is it to plant then when you have this? Kind very hard. Of uh, the actual hardest thing is putting in end posts, uh, more than anything. <laughs> yeah. The plants will work their roots down into that. They're, they're very adaptive, but actually driving an end post. Uh, we actually have end posts you know, that, that are metal and they're bent in the middle because you're just trying to pound it and eventually it just something's got to give. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so the end posts yeah. are kind of crooked. And yeah, they're not quite as, as showcasey nice as this. Like, yeah, they're yeah, a little yeah. bit wonky. So, yeah. Eola Hills, is uh, that Amity? Yep. Is yeah, it Eola Dallas Hills. too? No. I, 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 it's, so it's uh, fifth, 10 miles east of Dallas. Yeah. Okay. So, like, the vineyard is very close to the western edge of the Appalachian. Yeah. Um, so, kind of Highway 99 kind yeah, of it's delineates close to, it's the... Two, two miles uh, east of 99W. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kind of like that. Mm -hmm. um, and about uh, well, five to seven miles south of the town of Amity. Mm -hmm. okay. And yeah. about five miles north of Rickreal, which oh, yeah. 